All right, so what I'm going to do here, um, I have some solutions I'm going to uh, show that they'll approve if it's strong, weak, or non-electrolyte. Well, how do we know that? Well, the way we have to figure this out is if this device I have here, and it's really expensive, meaning it's a piece of wood, two nails driven through it with a socket that's attached. It's probably about a 50-year-old socket with some cord on it. There are obviously a lot more fancier things, but hey, when you can make it homemade and cheap, that's the way you go. Um, now, how do we know if something's going to be strong, weak, or not? Well, if it's a strong electrolyte, this light bulb is going to glow very brightly. If it's weak, it'll be dimmer. Obviously, if it's a non-electrolyte, it's going to just look like this. Um, so, I'm going to start with uh, some tap water. I'll put this into a beaker. And what we're going to do as a class Um, we're going to uh, re vote on this here. Well, we have this substance, so let me put that up here. It's tap water. So, what I have here, I have strong, weak, and uh, non electrolyte and actual. I better move this up just. The actual will be once we're done with the, um, each part of it. So, the voting goes to the audience, and hopefully, everybody will vote one way or another on something here. Um, so, how many people say that tap water will be a strong electrolyte? Just hold your hands up. Nobody? Weak? We got, let's see here, one, two, three. Non? All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, sorry, I have a question. Oh, okay. We have still at six. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. That's fine. Is it deionized water or is it? No, this is just tap water. Tap water? Okay. Just tap water. All right, so okay. let's see what happens. Let me plug the thing in, get zapped. That'd be kind of fun to get on video, I guess. All right, so let's see what we got here. Yeah, a little bit there, so you can see it on the camera. All right, so it's weak. Now, what I will do is, once I'm done with this, I'll explain why the results are the way they are. All right, so... The I is H2O. Okay, so... Um, Strong electrolyte. One? Okay. Weak? Nope. None? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at that. Two times in a row it adds up. Sometimes I get this that there's not the same number each time that adds up total, so somebody must be abstaining, I guess. All right, so let's see what we get here with our probe. There we are, non electrolyte. All right. Now, to this, I'm going to. Uh, all right, so. All right, so I have some uh, table salt here for the uh, next compound. So, question is asked. Strong. All right, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Weak. One, two. Non. Now, wait a minute here. <laughs> it's not adding a six plus two is eight, and I had nine before. Somebody didn't vote. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. There we go. Nice and bright. Strong. Strong electrolyte. I guess it'd be the Arnold Schwarzenegger of electrolytes. I don't know something. <laughs> All right. And this speaker here is going to be some sucrose. Right, so we have sucrose. And let's see what uh, our voting is here. Strong electrolyte. One, okay. Weak. One, two, three, four, five. None. One, two, three. Now the person that disappeared from the last time has now reappeared. Apparently, <laughs> so we have nine again. Sorry. All right. Let's see. What we All right. Let me have two more, and that will be done. All right. Let's see. Nothing. So, not electric.
Okay, the next substance will be uh, vinegar. And vinegar. All right, so uh, how do you say strong? Nobody? Okay, so make sure. Um, weak? One, two, three, four, five, wait a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Nine? All right. Uh, well, I guess that means maybe zero for nine. Uh, let's see. If somebody raises their hand again, I can know there's another person in this room. So let's just see what we get here. Ah, oh, okay. Plug this right off first. Considered weak versus what you saw before with table saw. It's weak. And one last one. That's enough. More just in case. one is uh, called ethanol. It's an alcohol. Um, so for our tally here, how many say strong? Okay, we got one, two, two. Weak, one, one, okay. Non, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's see what happens once I Electrodes off. Should take a little of this later on. None. Okay. All right. Explanation time as to why we got what we got. Uh, with the tap water, um, the reason it's weak, it depends on the tap water source. Now, this is Allentown tap water uh, that we're dealing with here. So there's all sorts of sometimes interesting vitamins and minerals, quote unquote, that are in it. So sometimes you do get a result of wheat. Um, there's calcium and magnesium ions that are present. So that's part of it. But there's other things in there too. Took it literally right out of one of the faucets in the, uh, the freshman chem lab. Now for the deionized water, we noticed that it was a non-electrolyte. Well, again, by the term deionized means that they're essentially removing most ions from it. There's still a little bit left, but we're just generalizing here. Now, table salt, it's strong um, because, of course, you know, when I talked about strong electrolytes, all salts, at least 99.9% .9 of them, are going to be strong. And so that means it completely breaks apart in solution. Now, sucrose, table sugar, whatever you want to look at it, it's a non-electrolyte. It's actually a molecule. I mean, it is polar in nature that it does dissolve. It's a little different story, but it's not ionic. That'll break apart. So that's why the light bulb didn't glow for that one. Now, for vinegar... Um, here, this is a weak acid. This is acetic acid. It's a three to five percent, something of that matter, solution of acetic acid in water. So that's going to be a weak electrolyte. We'll talk more about those uh, next time. But it breaks apart partially as opposed to completely. If I have hydrochloric acid, which is a strong acid, you would see it glow as bright as a table salt did. Now the ethanol, same idea has with the uh, sucrose ethanol, which uh, well, it's, it's going to be. I'll put up here. That's what the uh, formula, CH3CH2OH. Um, this, um, again, is a molecule and it breaks apart. So it's not going to actually form ions. Actually, I tested the water. I used to live up in the Wilkes-Barre Scranton area of Pennsylvania. And uh, when I tested the water, table saw quality of light bulb glowing. <laughs> it was, it was, there was a lot, because you're going through coal mines, and there's all sorts of interesting things that maybe I'm not sure, drink, drinking all that water for all these years, maybe it's preserved me in some form or another, I don't know. But <laughs> it, that was like, oh, that was a surprise to see that. Oh.